previously on Phillips Fan Bam. So tell us how your day was with your boot and your crutches. Was it hard to get around? So, me and Emberlyn are outside on the trampoline. So if you guys are gonna be doing something like this, you don't go to the paint section. We're here at Walmart. We went to the craft section. And we... Ooh, there they are, you guys. Check those out. I love them. Whoa, it's time for dinner. Time for dinner, you guys. We have another awesome cook with me coming at you, but you guys, we've got a twist. Wow. <laughs> twist. <laughs> so this is the teen master chef cook with me. I don't know that any of you guys have really seen Brayden in the kitchen. He meets. Ashlyn has definitely been in the kitchen. So Brayden's got like, Master chef. No, you can only make ramen noodles. I'm better than Gordon Ramsay. What's oh. the fanciest thing you've ever made? A hamburger. A hamburger. <laughs> Ash Ashlyn's He's specialty like, is a, a hamburger. hamburger. <laughs> PB and J is what I like to call it. <laughs> PB and J. So as you can see, Brayden's very experienced. Ashlyn has done a few cook with me's. I think she might have. I don't know. We'll see. So what we're doing, you guys, is we got our home chef in the mail. And in our box, we have two different meals that we can make. Home Chef has, the, has these easy laid out instructions for you. We are gonna put Brayden and Ashlyn to the test. And we are gonna see if they can make these meals all by themselves. And then we're gonna taste it yes. and judge it. Tina and I are gonna taste test and they're gonna be cooking up two different meals, yes. you guys. So we have the butter roasted tomato spaghetti, which nice. sounds Honestly, amazing right now. And then the breaded Italian chicken with cauliflower mash. <laughs> mash. Oh. oh. The thing is with these, they don't get to choose which meal they're making. Ooh, which one do you which one do you guys want? Oh, they Oh, they both want the chicken. Want the chicken. Oh. Boom. I don't know, that pasta looks pretty Nasty. exciting. And delicious. And we are not going to help them with the recipes. Nope. You guys are gonna have to read it and do it from scratch. Oh. All by yourself. If you mess up, if the chicken's pink, you lose. However, you can use Chef Elijah. Oh. oh. If you need help, he's here to support. I'm just gonna make him get my bowls. Oh. Okay, so we got the two recipes in hand. Close your eyes. Oh. I'm putting them behind my back. That one. <laughs> Which hand? Your left. My left? Are you sure? Yes. All right, let's oh. do it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. That, that was karma for not letting the girl go first. All right, so we're gonna get ready to go. Ashlyn, Ashlyn Phillips, how do you feel about the choice of, about the selection of food you got? I feel great. Brayden Phillips, how do you feel about the selection that you got? Too easy. Oh! <laughs> why is it so, why do you think it's so easy? You've never even cooked before. Yeah, I have. This will be the fanciest meal you've ever made in your Serious. life. Serious, and that's because he literally has it spelled out for him step by step here, you guys. So the pressure's on, Brayden. If you mess this up, I don't know what to think. Oh, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Home Chef is probably a good option if you're a single bachelor trying to learn how to cook. Brayden. Serious. Directions, <laughs> like straight up, you can go online, Pick, pick your meals, and you have the recipes and the ingredients completely laid out for you. <laughs> that, that can't get any easier. All right, let's do this. So what you need to do, when you get a girlfriend or when you get married, order Home Chef on the side and <laughs> plate it up, boy. Just plate it up. Okay, we're gonna get ready to get started, and you guys, Brayden just said, I have to cook pasta in a pan? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Ashlyn, oh, you, I think you got this in the bag. All right, you guys, just get going. That's it. We're not helping. We're watching. <laughs> All right, Let's go ready, for it. Go. Go. It's not a race. <laughs> yeah. It's not a race, no. Where's the olive oil? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's it. Yeah. Wait, how do you grab the olive
Look at them as they're getting ready. They're getting all of their kitchen utensils. Let's see if they're gonna pull out the slap and spread, the meat masher, or the big spahuna. Oh! Do you need your phone? Look up, you need to look it up? So what do you say, Elijah? Do you think coming up with another Home Chef meal, we should do kids edition? No, no, really. Like you against Ethan or you and Emberlyn? Yeah, I dominate. Oh, oh Chef yeah. Elijah. Right. You guys, comment down below if you guys want to see kids edition after the teen edition to see who does a cook-off. And then, maybe you'll even get Tina and I doing a cook-off against each other. Which you know I will win. Oh. I will win, baby. Oh, yep, you've got to use a knife, Brayden. You've got to use a knife. I do like how it's laid out with like the um, pictures too and everything. Oh, it's so it lets you like see what it's supposed to look like? Yeah. So we've got little helpers here. Emberlyn is going to be Brayden's helper. Elijah is going to be Ashlyn's helper, which is basically just a runner. If they need to throw something away, they need to go get a pan, that's what they're used for. All I know. And Brayden was just showing what the shallot was. What's the shallot? I don't know. Oh. So, so I'm guessing this is the garlic, right? Yeah. No. That's garlic. No, it's not. No, this is garlic. That's yes. And this is a shallot? Yeah. Yes. So you've got to mince them. So do you know what mincing means? Oh. It's like cutting them into really small pieces. So, so you've got to peel that like in a, yeah. Oh, the chopper, yes. Right. Amberlynn, do you know where the chopper is? It's the chopper that's used to chop onions. Cool, Elijah helping out? Yeah. Awesome, Ashlyn is now stemming her parsley. Uh, yeah. Stemming the parsley. Brayden is now mincing the shallot. Look at that. Ba, 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 ba. Oh. Yeah, so what we just realized, a shallot is a sub can be a substitute for an onion. It looks just like an onion. Ashlyn's gonna, you stem and mince, you have to mince your parsley? Yeah. yeah. Have tomatoes. Right there. Wow, I could get used to this, you guys. So like what has ever, what has like prevented you from like ever just like cooking up a good meal? I don't know. Just not knowing how? Pretty much, yeah. But like, like seriously, you don't know how to do this, right? But why are you confident in doing this right now? Because the uh, step-by-step instructions is pretty easy to follow. Serious, huh? Like, how easy can that be? That's why I know I will beat Tina when I do the cook-off with her. What is it? Pinch of salt. So he's got burrata cheese. That's pepper. Bring that pepper. Yeah, pepper and salt. <laughs> well, you said he's like pinch of salt, and he goes and grabs a pepper. <laughs> okay. But it calls for both. Oh, pinch salt. Thank you. Nice helper. Oh. Ash is working on her chicken over here. Oh. Nice helper. She got one of the salmonella. I will be the judge. No. Ethan, yeah, well, Ethan will be one of the taste testers. I'm actually one of them too. Uh -huh. Boom. So what? So what's going on over here? My pasta's cooking. Oh, boiling it up. Nice. And he's using the wooden chancla. Oh. oh. I should 
do this every, now that I know I we're think gonna do this, anytime we get a home chef meal, I think you guys. Serious, that's a good idea. <laughs> I, th I actually think Brayden's kind of enjoying this. <laughs> Once you make it and you put a smile on our faces, you will feel so happy. Braden's already into the oven. Oh. Oh. oh, Ash is over to the pots and pans. Yeah. Here we go. All right, so what is this that you're making? A cauliflower, is it like a, what is this you're making? Like, is it like a cauliflower dip or what? It's like a, a cauliflower mash. What? So like mashed potato around Yeah. So how long do you have to let this sit? 15 to 17 minutes. Nice, and then what's next? And then I have to toast the pan You could use the wooden chancla. This is starting to smell good. We are we are literally getting a mixture of smells from two different meals, you guys. We've got garlic, we've got kale, we've got parsley, we've we got, got chicken, we've got cauliflower. <laughs> All right, let's see the progress right here. We've got, let's see here. Wow, look at that kale cooking up. Ashlyn's got, is that garlic right there? No. Or no, that's the panko. Yeah. And we've got, ooh, the cauliflower mash is getting hot. <laughs> Boom, I just heard a timer go off. Braden is pulling out his garlic bread. Watch out, there's people in the, in the kitchen. All right, Bash, what you got going on right there? I got some panko and um, parsley mixed together. Oh, what's that going on? Um, good question. Just kidding. <laughs> it's going on the chicken last. Oh, yummo. Yeah. chicken going and you guys we have a special deal for you for those of you guys who want to try out home chef use our code Danny and Tina 30 to get $30 off your first order you guys it is the perfect way for you guys to try this out see if it works for you see if it works for your family seriously amazing and seriously delicious don't forget to use our code to get that special deal oh you know what I kind of like this you guys feel like you're bonding <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. You know what it smells like? What? It smells like oh, a whole combination of foods. Oh, it smells like one of those places where they cook in front of you. Oh, like a teppanyaki? It yeah. does. It smells good in here, guys. All right, we got Brayden adding in some what? Tomato paste and what's that? Myro poye broth. Concentrate. Is it kind of nice? You don't have to like measure this stuff out. It's kind of all measured for you, huh? Yeah. Oh, that chicken's looking good. Oh, we got the marinara sauce going on the chicken. That looks amazing. Oh, uh, seriously, yeah. it smells so good over here. 
Okay. All right, chicken going in the oven. Oh, yeah. How's that coming along, Braden? Pretty great. Pretty great. So that is the sauce for the noodles, right? Yes. Oh, whoa, that looks good. I know. Dang, fancy smancy. Hey, oh, they're starting to mash up, huh? Yeah, I just have to wait for all the water to evaporate. Wait for the water to evaporate. I'm excited to try those just to see what they taste like. Oh yeah. So did you season these with anything? The salt, but then after we're gonna add some sour cream. Uh-huh. And a little bit of Parmesan. Oh, that actually sounds really good. Yeah. Nice. Oh man, you guys, Braden's just doing the last touches to his amazing pasta dish here. Oh shoot. So that's the cheese, right? Yeah. Oh dang. That's probably good. Wow, I'm impressed, Braden. I have to say, I was a little worried that you weren't going to be able to pull it together. <laughs> Chef Braden has done it! Oh, oh, oh. All right, you guys, here it is. This is Braden's final product. And looking pretty close to that picture, Braden. Thank you. Wow. It's just better. Can't wait to try it. All right, you guys, I'm kind of impressed because nowhere in the instructions did it say, rinse all the utensils that you used while you were cooking. And look at that. Braden just naturally cleans it all. <laughs> That's what I like to see. I think he learns from me. You cook I... as you cook. <laughs> we're so, gonna... very well, he, he's learned from the best. Okay. Clean as you cook. Oh, gotcha. Chicken's going back into the oven to toast those little puppies. For two, one to two minutes. That's that's totally an Ashley meal right there. Yeah. Because she and I, we always get like chicken parmesan. Oh, that's, that's true. Like, yeah. It's so much, it's totally. Yeah, because it's the marinara sauce on there. Yeah, oh. Kind of like the breaded crumbs. Yeah, like yeah. That's, so good. that's a good point. All right, how's that cauliflower doing? Cauliflower takes a while to cook, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Did not realize. You have to wait for all the water to evaporate. And then after that, we add the sour cream, some parsley. Oh, wait, no. The sour cream. And, and Parmesan cheese, right? Parmesan cheese, and we're done. So Ashlyn's plating her uh, cauliflower mash. Oh, Ash, that actually looks delicious. Oh, my mama. I'm excited to try those. I've never had cauliflower mash. All right. Honestly, that chicken looks amazing, Ash. Oh, it smells like chicken parm. It does. Okay, now we're just gonna add some of the parsley and um, the rest of the Parmesan cheese on the cheese. Ooh. I'm impressed, you guys. You guys have done good. Mm. Look at that, making all beautiful. You know, one thing that I really like about this is that there's no like leftover recipes or ingredients. Like, yeah, you're not no wasting. There's no waste. Yeah, like, it's literally measured out. We use it all, and you're done. It's an easier cleanup. You don't have to store a bunch of, you know, partial foods, partial ingredients that you're only gonna use like one time. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. And so, like, literally, the kids just literally cleaned up um, the dishes, and that's it. Yeah. Like, Braden's already totally cleaned up. Yeah, it's honestly awesome. Serious. All right, you guys. Oh man, check that out. I think Ashlyn did good. <laughs> Boom. Looks very much like the picture. I did. There's Braden's. I think we're ready to go for the taste test. 
All right. Who's up first, Daniel? This is for the breaded Italian chicken, you guys. Oh my goodness. This is Ashlyn's right here. Ooh, chicken cut off real, real good. <laughs> oh, you know what that means. That's really good. Uh, uh-oh. Oh, I have to dry cauliflower? No, it's good. Um, Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. It's good. Oh, man. Here we go. Mm. Holy crud. <laughs> crud? That is good. Is it? That's better than mashed potatoes. No way. Yes. We might have to do that more then. Wow, because like you taste it, a little bit of kick of the, uh, is there sour cream? Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Oh, I'm excited to try great. it. Wow, this is just as good as the chicken, you guys. Oh, dang. That's really good. Sounds like you got some points, girl. Oh, yeah. Okay, here, here we go, Braden. Okay. All right, so what is this? That's burrata cheese. It's like cottage cheese. Okay. Burrata cheese. I'm going to mix a little bit with what I'm going to get. Okay. And a little bit, Braden had a little bit of a disadvantage because he finished a little earlier, so his isn't as warm, I'm sure. Yeah, it's cold. As Ashlyn, so. Take that into consideration. into consideration. Okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Please do. Oh. That's really good. Oh. <laughs> Rain sleeping. I don't really taste much of the, the bricotta cheese. The pasta. It's just like an all around blended flavor. If you oh. can't pick parsley, kale, you can't pick any of that. It like, it's an all around good flavor. That's a good pasta, Rain. Good job. Oh. That's really good. Okay, your favorite garlic bread. Garlic bread. Yeah, get the middle. Yeah, if you're excited, get the middle with that has a little bit more of the olive oil. Because you called for a teaspoon of olive oil. We weren't sure if that was enough to totally butter it up or whatever. Oh, it's got the crunch. I heard it. That's good. Actually, it's perfect amount. So you could tell with Home Chef, they're smart with their the portions of their ingredients mm -hmm. because I think it's just the perfect balance because otherwise it would have been either too garlicky or too oily so it's actually really good wow all right here's Here mama bear mama bear with the awesome hair <laughs> don't look that was funny laugh <laughs> 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 right, never mind that's fake <laughs> mama bear with the funny hair <laughs> All right, chicken. Good. Oh, dang. <laughs> mm. Ooh. That is like a chicken parm. That tastes so good. Mmm. Awesome. Very impressed. Thanks. Ooh, I'm curious if you're going to like this. I am this. too because I, okay, I'm going to be honest. I don't usually like cooked cauliflower. Like, I like it raw. So we'll see. We'll see. That's good. Really? Mm -hmm. That's I good. like it. Okay, so I can taste the cook cookedness of the cauliflower, which is at first, like, for me, I'm like, mm. but with the sour cream and the parm in there, that's good. Okay, on to the butter roasted tomato spaghetti. I do love me some pasta. Mm. Oh wow. It's a good balance, it's good. The flavors mixed together, like they complement each other. I've yeah. said that about Home Chef recipes before. These flavors complement each other like perfectly. Yes. Oh, that's so good. Okay, let me taste, taste the bread. The bread's good. Mm, that's good too. Oh, they're both so good. All right, here we go. Ashlyn's gonna try. Try them out. She's gonna try Braden's first. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. <laughs> At first, it kind of tastes like, you know those spicy noodles that we have? Uh huh. They kind of have it without the spice, kind of. But that's really good. It's really flavorful. I really like that. Good job, Braden. All right, here we go. Braden is trying Ashlyn's. Here we go. 
Like how good? Like really good. <laughs> but like really good. Better. <laughs> really good. Really <laughs> but like better than your spaghetti? I don't know. I don't oh. That's pretty good. It's got like a weird kick. Like soury? I got the cauliflower kick. I don't like sour cream, I can taste it. Yeah, the sour cream is strong, but that's why I actually liked it. Yeah. So if well, you because it hid the cauliflower taste for me. Yeah. So. Yeah, but it's still good. Yeah. Yep. All right, here okay, we go. Now you guys both try your own. <laughs> Ooh, you try your own at the same time. All right. Ow. If you had a choice, if we sit here, you can have a plate. Which one would you eat? Mine. <laughs> oh. It's really flavorful. It is. It's, it's good. good. Which one would you? Oh, you haven't tasted yours yet. I am right now. Hey, Ash, go oh. for it. If I were you, I'd get some breaded crumb and marinara, Ash. I did. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh. That, well, that's, a, that's your meal. You would order that at, yeah, at, I would, at a restaurant. I, yeah. I'm like very picky with Honestly, pasta. I'll be I'll honest. Like yeah. I'll, I'll be honest. I thought it was gonna be like kind of like a drier chicken. Like I didn't know how it was gonna like taste, if it was gonna be like the best as like other restaurants. And then I tasted it. It's, oh, this is like almost at the top. It's good, oh, huh? It's really good. Wait, let me try this. And Braden was saying he's normally picky with the pastas, but he actually likes it. I like that. Okay you guys, so overall. Honestly, truthfully, how did you guys feel it was making these meals? It's pretty, really good. It's pretty easy. <laughs> pretty easy? Yeah, and it's really, it tastes really good too, so. And like, if you're actually by yourself making it, I feel like you can do it in like 15, 20 minutes too. When you're not like filming and everything, yeah. right? Yeah, pretty quickly. And like, yeah, like I said, I like it how it's like um, organized into steps, and then how they have like measurements already for you pretty much. So it was all now what did you did you guys feel like you learned some new like cooking skills or learn anything more about like ingredients or anything like that? Oh, I learned that all flour mashed potato things. I feel like it's I feel like it's easy to make even though it's kind of hard, but not hard, but like long to make or whatever. But I would make that on like a daily basis. Yeah, That's it's really good. turned out really good. What about you, Brayden? Oh, what about you? <laughs> um, I realized like. I guess all the different ingredients I can go into like one little thing I guess. Just the tiny ingredients like I never thought like kale would be like make a huge difference in the difference in the sauce but it kinda did. Yeah, but, that's yeah. true. Like the different combinations of foods you can put in different foods. Yep. Awesome. Well good job guys, you killed it. Woo. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna say that was a huge success. The kids all liked what they ate pretty much. A few were like iffy on the cauliflower, but I think overall all the kids loved it, I loved it, it was delicious. You guys, I just want you guys to know that the, both of those meals were two servings. We do have more that we're gonna cook up later in the week. So, I just wanna let you guys know that we got a big box with two meals of six servings. So you can get yes. different servings based on what you need for your family. So make sure you guys go check out Home Chef and... Don't forget, you can also use our code and you can get $30 off yes. your first Danny order. Tina 30, you guys can get $30 off your first order. You guys, it's an amazing deal. Check it out, like I said, at least to try it to see if it works for you, if it works for your family. Delivered. It's amazing. Delivered straight to your doorstep. Straight to your door. And it has like major ice packs and stuff in there. So it keeps the meat cold. It keeps all the food cold till you're ready to come home and put it away. Okay, you guys, so thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to Home Chef for sending us this meal and sponsoring this video. And you guys, we are gonna be doing this for the next two months. So let us know down below what you want for the next one. Do you want the little kids to try it? Do you want Danny to try it? Or do you want me and Danny to go head and head? Head to head. Let us know down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video. And most of all, don't forget to... Cheers your day!